had someone walk in the gym somewhat recently and like, you know, they took a look at me and they're like, Oh, I'm, I'm never training with you. you, know, you <laughs> like you probably have to be so fit to train with you. And it's like, you know, it's a little bit crazy that I feel like people think that way, you know, yeah. it's like, no, not at all. Actually. I have very few people that are as fit as me. You know, it's usually people that, you know, don't know how to be fit on their own. You know, yeah. and that's why people, you know, pay me a lot of money, right? Yeah. To to help them, you know, kind of break through those barriers that, that they can't break through themselves, you know. So, uh, yeah. but, you know, like I was kind of talking about just before, you know, is having the low self esteem and, you know, the self doubt and all that stuff. I had that stuff from the get go. From my earliest memories, I was just that kind of kid where I just mm. like was always fearful. You know, obviously fearful to talk to girls. You know, just always had this voice inside my head that was just doubting me you know I was never good enough and it was it was crazy about it and I know that I was just insane from a young age because I was good at everything that I did yeah right so I was this kid who felt so like such shit about myself but yet like I was you know having really good success in sports and I was like had a reputation for being you know one of the best and and it was always this like internally it was always such a struggle for me as a kid you know and so yeah by the time I was 20 I was completely unemployable I was a actually a tattoo artist at the time and I I remember the point where I just I just like lost control I just like lost uh like I just had to get high 24 hours a day and I I stopped showing up for work at this point I was I was living out of my car so I had all my belongings in my trunk I was sleeping on sleeping on friends couches and it's kind of couch surfing and, and the last the last two and a half months of my drinking and drugging was just out of control like how i lived through that is just it's beyond me uh silver chair uh yeah, dude i love silver chair man frog yeah me stuff. too man <laughs> yeah frog stuff that was the yeah. album that i bought i like dude. saved up i bought i went and i still remember buying the cd and i was like that was a freaking sick uh sick album as well man <laughs> and they're australian like how cool is that say, yeah, yeah they're aussies man <laughs> yeah and you gareth uh, i'm gonna really uh you know embarrass myself and sort of uh you guys are gonna look down on me but my 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 i bought my first tape and it was uh billy ray cyrus <laughs> nice, man. 